Welcome back to today's more report. Charles Brothers on Wednesday, the 10th of August, with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech Markets. Let's look at gold as my final chart, and we've started to see the gold traction to the upside again. We saw the rally yesterday. Um, after that US productivity disappointment um, driving the dollar weakness and uh, gold has accelerated away today now you had that sort of doji candle which left support around 1330 which I'll show on the hourly chart which is a key level interestingly enough the uh, RSI has turned up around that 50 mark again and um, MACD lines are still positively configured although not ex excessively reacting yet stochastics are beginning to turn up though so the near term really near term indicators which are the RSI and the stochastics on the momentum are positive um, reflecting this move that we've seen in the last sort of day or so now here we go on the hourly chart you see this sort of move and minor base pattern actually uh, above 1338 that was the resistance so you'd measure 1338 from 1330 which is eight bucks 1346 and it tested that 1346 and broke through it and 1346 is an old pivot as well so breaking through that level 1346 is positive is the uh, strong move and uh, 1346 now becomes supportive and I would say now that there's a decent buying area between sort of 1338 and 1346 if you saw that on a dip uh, on a minor correction today um, interesting that we've seen the reversal coming at 50, 1355 now 30.55, back end of sort of 29th of July, early August, became the basis of resistance. Although yes, it was um, sort of broken through, became a bit supportive. It, it could turn out to be a bit of a pivot level, so watch out for that 13.55. Again, today, pretty much hitting that resistance and coming off. So 13.35 is a bit of a stumbling block near term. Whether it proves to be a resistance or not remains to be seen. If you can break through that, I think you're back towards these highs again, 13.65 to 13.67, um, which basically protect the old high, 13.75. So it seems as though the bulls are back in control. These momentum indicators are nicely configured, looking all pretty positive, and uh, I think little corrections are now going to be seen as a chance to buy. So I wish you good luck in your trading throughout today, and I will speak to you again tomorrow. Thank you.